In the time this story airs, Alameda's Cooper Tear will have run about a half a mile. It's why he might be St. Joseph High School's most dominant athlete since basketball legend Jason Kidd. I'm in PE and we run them all the time and I'll run like a 530, which is like jogging to me. Alameda's Cooper Tear barely breaks a sweat in St. Joseph's PE class. In the amount of time some of his peers run one mile, he's possibly gone four. They used to think that if you could run a, under four, you would just die if you if you ran that. Last month, Tear came as close as it gets to that magical sub four minute mile that distance runners obsess over. The margin, 17 hundredths of a second. Oh, it's so close, oh man! Snap of a finger. If I could have maybe leaned a little bit more, or like taken one more step, I would have had it. Um, and kind of carved my name into history. The history is nothing to scoff about. Since 1964, there have been nine high school runners to crack the four minute mark. Jim Ryan and two others did it in the 1960s. And then the sport had to wait 34 years before the next crop of boys came along post millennium. I've just imagined being the 10th on there. More college and professional runners have done it since Roger Bannister became the first in 1954. But four minutes is a sacred number on high school tracks because of the runner's physical development. And when he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and break four minutes this year, um, I thought, that's great. That's a great thing to say. Nobody does that. Dave Tier is Cooper's father and has done very little to push his son towards the sport. The first time that I uh, ever took him to a race was when he was nine. And he came in second, and it was just so natural, and I thought, he looks beautiful running. What's even more beautiful is the scholarship that Tier will receive next year at the University of Oregon. Until then, the St. Joseph track coaches are hoping that good things come below four. It'll kind of cement his status as one of the best high school runners in track and field distance history. Cooper's got one more shot to make history on June 17th in Seattle. We wish him luck. Thanks. Thanks.